I have an absolute head scratcher. We're gonna be doing a SIG P365 XL. Actually, I'm gonna turn this on. SIG 365 XL. No flashlight or anything like that, but, but it has this ridiculous uh, gas pedal. If you don't know what a gas pedal is, it goes on the, um, opposite of your strong side and your thumb rests on it so you could push it forward and it helps with stabilizing of the firearm so i had an order for this gentleman uh he requested that i can do it and at first i'm looking at it and i'm like i won't be able to do this i physically need it yada 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 sent him an email i think my emails have been going to uh spam folders regardless um i'm gonna be making it right now so i ended up buying it so luckily when you get these they're already split in half so I'm gonna try something. We could either mount it on the firearm, like so, or mount it on the vac press, like so. And I think we're gonna do this. Totally gonna to be an awkward build, but that's okay. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of um, trial and error. Again, my first time doing it, but I'll show you what I'm gonna to do to get through it. Two things, I can cut this flush so it sits down like I was supposed to. There's like a sixteenth of an inch here. I am not going to do it, to be honest with you. I can, but I'm not going to, because then I would have to shave this, shave this. But we want this to be bigger anyway, so it fits inside. Here I have some very thick, uh, again, this is um, copper and fiberglass and it's used for um, circuit board making. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my fine point Sharpie here. I have this placed and I'm gonna try, let's see here. We're gonna carve this out little by little. All right, first step. It's good, I'm gonna have to cut over here as well. Okay, all right. We might have to go more oh, because we have to go sideways to match this contour. Angled, let's try this again. Okay, we're gonna cut a little bit more out. Went with one blade length on that. Seems to be pretty good. Uh, what we're gonna do also, huh, all right, it's actually not that bad. And we'll cut this right here. And then this looks like right there. And we'll cut that straight across all the way. All right, so I cut this piece, angled it, and that fits right here. So what I'm going to do, start taping this.
tank. So that's not going anywhere. So we have this piece, which is going here. To that. Which isn't bad. And then we're going to put that piece to there. So it's going to go right there. It'll go on top like so. Let's shave it. Oh yeah, I'd be shave it off a lot. Shave it to it's like right there. Cut down. Try that again. Put this back in place. All right, so that looks pretty decent. And we got a little bit left to do that will block that. We'll have to block this right here. So otherwise what will happen, I don't know if that's perfect. Otherwise what will happen is uh, is we have to make another piece that goes right here and it'll come off that and come this way and that's going to be one of these like kind of like that actually let's try it this way there we go actually looks like i could just get away with doing that All right, I think uh, that is gonna do it. Now, this is gonna be a uh, two-piece, kind of like the uh, Springfield XSC I did, uh, AIWB, so I'm actually gonna be doing this. Uh, this one's gonna go in black, and then this side's gonna go, so I'm, I'll take this off, and then I'll put this one, which this one is obviously gonna be a lot easier. So we'll get the vacuum form on this, form that in black because this is going to be a right-handed so this is the side against the body and then uh we'll go ahead and like i said do this one that one's going to be uh, a desert fox so let's uh i'll cut a piece of black and oh god let's see how this goes So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right here, cut it all the way around, and uh, I will go from there because we're going to rivet this right here. Okay, so that's out. And I kind of want to take a peek at this real quick. If I throw this on here like so. It actually works. <laughs>
All right, well, we'll see. So that's that's half. Like I said, we're gonna drill retention right here, or drill uh, our holes for our eyelets, so we can attach them together and uh, and go from there. So, but what we have to do is we got to do this side now, since this is gonna be a two tone. So that means this guy has to go right there, and all we have to do. This has to form there, and then another one on top, another one right there. So, giggity, which means we can reuse this. So, we will take this. This guy, oops, this way. Then, <laughs> gotta build two more. That's gonna go there. That's gonna shave off of that. And then this is gonna go here. Like so. It's going to go there. Man, it's a pain in the butt. And then this is going to go. Right there. I'll follow it around. And then there, that's done. So I'll clean this off, blow it off, and then we'll go ahead and see how that works. All right, same thing. I'm gonna cut it here, all around, and then obviously we're not gonna use these dimples anymore. We're gonna drill underneath those and uh, go from there. I'm hoping this works. Holes are drilled, and what I'm going to do now is actually just put in the retention to pretty much hold it together while I come up with a shape for this. We're going to have to throw this in the foam press to get the uh, sight channel and everything in there as well. <laughs> and as you can tell, that just worked. Cool. All right, so that worked. Now it's just uh, finishing it and shaping it. So you can see this right here. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to put 
a sight channel in here and then I'm going to heat just this area up and then I'm going to clamp that. Um, so probably start on this side. Where's my pencil? So we know we're going to come up here now and go up like so. And can't use a trim jig because everything is in a new spot. Then, obviously, like so, and then we are going to have looks like we're going to do four, four rivets, right? So, maybe five, so we'll, we'll wait on that. But that's where it's going to go. So we're gonna have to bend this. Um, I will cut this shape out so it's just these two pieces and uh, I will go from there. <laughs> so far, this is what I have. And yeah, that's, you know, that's massive and it is what it is. I just, I don't see how that's gonna be comfortable. I mean, look at that. But regardless, uh, it works. The retention on it is pretty good. I'm going to have to get a uh, dowel in here, and then we'll heat this up, and then I'll pinch it between uh, two jaws and a vise, because um, otherwise it's going to look like that. But I guess, in theory, you could also just, I guess, rivet that, right? And then, like, as in rivets on each side, and then put your kydex in the center. Ooh, I kind of wonder. So it turns out that two pieces of kydex... Grab a couple pieces right here. Two pieces of Kydex actually fit that gap. And in all technicality, you could just bam right there with everything. And you see that that still works. I almost kind of want to try that. Just drill these holes, flatten that out. And then that second piece will be together. Put it in there and then just bolt it right through. Kind of, that kind of seems like a good idea. I kind of want to try it. Huh. Anyways, um, yeah, so. And then you can see that's actually not that far off. So I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, so uh, I will heat this up. I'm going to cut a couple pieces of foam. We'll heat this up, squeeze it, and then we'll go ahead and drill everything we need to drill. So we're set up over here. Uh, I cut two pieces of foam, pretty much a one inch strip, and then I cut it in half, so six inches, uh, and then it, I just taped it to my jaws, no big deal. Now I have this, it is still obviously together. I have a sight channel, if you could see that right there. And then um, all I'm literally gonna do is just heat up the outside three quarters of an inch, and then uh, we're gonna pinch it in the jaws. So this just this, this, this it. And I tell you what, I tell you what, I am cleaning after this because I ended up getting some new uh, display cases, if it'll follow me, there we go, I ended up getting some new display cases and I got to figure out where to put them, they're giant, um, this one isn't that big but the other one is like four times bigger than this and I got it because I love Christmas villages and I have a lot. And I didn't know where to put them. And now I got this. So anyways, or I'll hold some other stuff in there. But with this heated up, I'm going to go ahead and start working it. And then throw it in here. But I got a lot of stuff to do. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not going to heat up near the frame. I'm going to heat up just above the, the sight channel. And I'm going to try and do both sides at the same time. Let's 
see how that works. First time I've tried it this way. The last time you guys saw me do this, I did it in my press. Uh, I figured this will actually be a lot easier. Uh, the only thing I have left to do is vacuum form the, uh, the mag carrier, which I already have a uh, custom form for that, so should be good. So I'll come back, I'll check this in a couple minutes, and uh, I'll, go, I'll go from there. So you guys will see you soon. One side. Bam. Hooray. All right, next step for us, I went and grabbed the MRD that's going to be in there. This we don't need right now. We can put this aside. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drill our quarter inch on each side. And it's just absolutely phenomenal. So, so bam and bam and bam. Right in. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually just going to cut right there on both of these. So this will be easier to work. So literally just down there, that's all I'm doing right now. These are MRD specific, and uh, they're just smaller, or as in thinner diameter, so they fit in the hole so you don't have to drill them. Do they matter? No. Do you have to use them? Absolutely not. Does it make your life easier? Yes, it does. So we're just going to do a little Loctite. And these are going through in the back. And these are half inch screws. You're gonna get plenty of threads caught with the sheer size of both of these. All right, before I crank down on that, I could have done this earlier too, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut straight across. This is for a SIG 365, this is a Glock 43. It is the same holster. You could put it in either way. Um, and then what we're gonna do is figure out where we want this to go on here. We don't want it super close. We don't want it super far away. We kinda want it just right. Do we want it angled? Probably, but you gotta also remember this is gonna have um, two foamies on them. So we actually are gonna have to keep them in line. So I'm gonna go ahead actually Throw those on there. Where that's going. And I can throw this on. So, yep, keep it where it is. This is always fun. So, pretty much just place it where you want it. And like I said, they're going to have to stay together. So, we're going to have one here. One here that looks pretty good. Uh, give us an idea of where we're going to be. I'm going to go ahead and just cut it. Let's see here. Do I like that? It's kind of wide if I put it. Yeah, we'll put it there. So I cut it on this line. My rivets will go on this side. If you cut it here, um, you won't be able to put them on this side, obviously. So you have to figure out what you're going to do. I think right on this side of the line would be good. And by doing it this way, we could go ahead and mark where the rivets are going. And then go ahead and drill those.
and we're gonna throw a rivet right there as well. You know what, we could even throw one down here if we wanted to. So it's gonna go, it's gonna sit just like that. Then we'll draw this out. So then that could come. We'll tuck that up a little bit actually. And at this point, I'm actually gonna tighten these down. And we're going to draw our final shape. So we're going to make sure that it comes off right there. And we know that comes off right there. So I think we'll just go straight across and angle up. So we're going to angle that right there. And then we'll bring this up and angle it like so. Bada bing. All right, next I'm just going to add the hardware. You can see, I went ahead and, and finished this guy. And I got it, so uh, the retention is, is pretty good. Uh, let's see, we'll go ahead. I'm gonna grab the hardware. But I'm gonna change out these ones. The stack and a half that you get these, you can see that the holes that you, when you drill them, they're pretty close to the bend, so it doesn't allow these to actually fit in there. So if you take these ones, these ones will fit flawlessly, and these are the ones that are flat on each side. Go ahead and do this. Now, like I said, I don't have the mod wing here. Uh, it is on order, and it is coming in. So once that mod wing comes in, I will be able to ship this out so looking forward to that we still have to attach the two together with some paracord um, it's either going to be black paracord or if I find that I have this color this khaki I will do that Looks pretty good to me. All right, we're also gonna add a bend in here. We all know how to do that. Uh, I'm gonna add that slight bend right now, actually. It looks like I have something. It's like a, it's like a coyote with a hint of desert and fox and all this stuff. And it kinda looks like a camo, so yeah. So I'm gonna show you. Let's see, I'm just gonna get a clean end. Like I said, after this, I am cleaning. I've been balls to the wall for a while. All right, and we won't need a lot of this. All right. Quick cleaning before I attach them, and I still have to laser the. Uh, I still have to laser the foamy. So, all right, now we just got to figure out the best way to do this with three. Uh, this is going to be in the back. So let's see here. If I go, uh, go. Mm, mm. Yeah, you know what? I'll just do that. So what I'll do. This right there, pull that tight. And go back down. And go 
back through. This one you might need some help. Or just loosen up your string. You can see that. And pass it through one at a time. Of course, you know, I could double it up and whatnot, or we could leave it right there. And to do that, what I'll do is create a knot while still holding pressure, and just get it so that knot tightens right down far as I can go. Like that. And then you have a little bit of flex. Let's see if I can go a little bit tighter there. This is where hooks come in handy. Especially when you have big, fat sausage fingers like me. All right, there we go. All right, I think that's about as tight as it's gonna get. do is I'll go ahead and cut that without hitting the holster and I'll take my lighter again and just melt that all together and there we go besides mounting the um, mod wing like I said I just used my last one before building this but I needed to build it and then we have our holster our mag carrier and the holster and there we are thank you guys for watching this episode this holster severely I mean it kicked my butt it was like it's been about three hours on this one holster which isn't terrible but here is again the finished product uh, and it's got the flex to it, and of course it's got that bend. Uh, I hope this gentleman likes it. Like I said, I got one more part to put on. But as always, I hope you learned something from the videos. The ways I do things isn't necessarily the way you can do them. You might find an easier way to do things. The way I do stuff is years of doing it. Um, but this was my first for the uh, the gas pedal. Um, gas pedals are like forty bucks. They're comfortable, but man. Unless you got a way to make a mold. But again, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Have fun.